What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Alfred Outlaws. And as you can see, the Alfred Outlaws update, or well, the update version 3.0 is out. We have the Magic School Bus, Mud Bus over here. The school bus, the Ford uh, van, and I do say it's a Ford just by looking at the front end of it. Uh, obviously, it looks like an older model Ford. So we're just going to go with this being a Ford van. Uh, we got a new dirt bike as well. It's pretty cool. You can stretch the back arm on it. It's pretty nice. Of course, you got the gooseneck hitch over here. Freaking badass. Or gooseneck hitch. The gooseneck trailer over here. It's pretty awesome, and it's a longer trailer. It looks really cool having any type of vehicle on there, and of course the rip saw is out there as well. Now, of course, you have the dualies, as you can see on both the Optimus build and the bus over here. And uh, those are pretty easy to get to. You just go over here to the uh, tires, and there they are. I'll probably do a video specifically on that as well, just to let people know, hey, uh, this is exactly how you do it. Um, you know, this is just a short video for you guys, just kind of recap everything that's there. Off, obviously, there's been updates for, like, physic, well, not really physics, uh, but, like, map editor updates and everything like that. Of course, you can get a drone. A drone does cost 100 gold, and it is definitely worth it, because you have multiple different designs of drones that you can use, and they're all really cool, obviously. I went with a purple one, because, you know, I like purple. And, you know, you have these few other ones, and it's two main designs of the drone as well, so that is another cool feature as well that is new in the update. And, of course, uh, it's pretty much, <laughs> that's pretty much it as far as the uh, update stuff goes, honestly. I don't believe I'm missing anything. I'm pulling it up really quickly. For you guys to make sure I'm not forgetting anything in the update and it is three new vehicles tracked off-road vehicle 4x4 van and a bus they did not put on here that the bike was there uh, but it says many performance fixes for custom maps new featured custom maps which I did not check out and we'll show you guys here real quick of course it does give you a warning that when you're not in something that can pull the trailer which is pretty cool pretty cool indeed have featured maps you just click it right here and you have these maps here featured maps that's pretty cool we'll be using these to do like cool things on maps you know be like oh this map's cool uh, yeah um, the drones of course we showed you to the drones the dualies the gooseneck trailer you can also mute people in multiplayer now and I will show you guys that real quick uh, just by going to a random multiplayer session and I'll show you guys how easy it is to mute somebody now. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. There's also the ability to turn, you know, to change the sensitivity of your air controls, which is pretty cool. Don't mind my name being there like that. But of course, you can mute people. It's pretty easy to do. You just mute them, unmute them. And what that does is it stops their uh, pictures or their stuff from coming up. Obviously, you can launch the drone directly from in game which I should show you guys but we'll show you guys that near the end I'll, sh I'll just do a little quick little thing which near the end is pretty soon actually um, there's lots of other fixes that he didn't really specify it's just small fixes I think they probably fixed the uh, stuff broken this is broken now by the way you can't change from your Facebook name so if you guys have custom names but you use a Facebook name you can't really change that because that does that and that just opens it up to change it changing it does not change it there but in air control you can change this to off to low and to high and that's basically how you do your stunts with your vehicles uh, so you can make it to where you don't have in air controls and it's kind of like gigabit where you just kind of floor it hope for the best uh, turn it to low where it's slight movements and then high is just the normal how we've always had it and I'll show you guys how to launch the drone. Uh, that's basically all the new stuff for you guys. That other than you know the basic fixes and everything that they've done. Also, I will note to you guys that the Volkswagen Beetle is not out yet. 
uh, Offroad Outlaws did post on their Facebook page, which I'll probably just do a separate video just to let everybody know. So then there's the video itself. That way people, you know, don't really need to ask me, uh, you know, why or where it is or whatever. Because I was doing my live stream and I thought that uh, you could actually uh, find it. So we were actually out searching with the drone looking for the field find. Uh, but of course, it's to no avail because it's not out yet. They posted on their Facebook. They actually had to make a post about it. I wish they would have been more specific when they did make that. You know, they did share the picture of the, uh, you know, the, the beetle. I wish they would have stated that it was not out, going to be out in the next update. But it's really easy to fly the drone. Obviously, this will be a lot better on the phone uh, for drone flying because I could actually pan while I move this. Of course, you have your buttons for elevation control. You can go up and you can go down. Of course, uh, you can basically kind of go in the water sometimes, uh, depending on if the water is deep enough, you can go in it. And the drone doesn't die from it or get damaged, so that's cool. There's also this. But the one thing to note is that on the map, wherever your actual vehicle is parked, that's what's going to show. It's not going to show you where your drone is. Uh, so even if you do find a field find, because you can't pick up boxes either in a drone, uh, you still have to make your way out there. So just remember locations. Like, I know this map well, so I could fly to one area and be like, okay, that's where this is. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, just wanted to make a quick video, kind of showcasing all the uh, new stuff just in a quick area for you guys. Like I said, uh, I did do a live stream immediately when the... Pretty much immediately when the update came out. I will link that down below if you guys want to watch it. It's like two hours and two and a half hours long. So feel free to skip through it if you want. But definitely worth checking out. There's a lot of funny stuff that happened. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, and you guys get to see my first reactions to all of this really cool stuff that we got with the update. And I uh, just want to give a you know, quick thank you to all the, guys, all the people that did show up to that live stream. It was like 300 people at one, over 300 people at one point in time, and I was just like in amazement at that many people showing up at the stream and chilling out. Like it was constantly, like when we started, we had like 50 something people. It's just amazing. I, I'm not trying to brag or anything about it, but like it, it, it was honestly shocked me. Never had that many people watching at once, and it was awesome. I, I love all of you guys, all of you subscribers. I consider you guys all my friends. And I want to thank you guys for being part of this, uh, you know, YouTube journey. We're almost 10k subs, so it's going to be fun. Stick around for more stuff, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.